So this is the herbivore skull in contrast to the carnivore skull. So there's five main differences. Um, number one, the temporalis, which is going to be this muscle right here, is a lot smaller. Can you hear me? Yeah. Is a lot smaller. And the coronoid process, as a result, is a lot larger. Since the temporalis is small, it has to come up much higher than in the cat to meet um, the temporalis muscle. So you're going to find a much larger cor coronoid process and a much smaller temporalis. But you see this jaw masseter muscle is much larger, originating up here and inserting down here. And then that brings us to the size of the jaw angle, which is going to be much larger for a much larger insert on the man or on the jaw. Sorry. Um, and the sagittal crest back here, uh, it's really not really existing in comparison to the carnivore, as you can see, and it's much sharper. The carnivore needs it for um, to attach the muscle. Yeah, the temp since the temporalis is inserting on the, um, no, it helps the insertion, or no, origin of the temporalis muscle. So since this temporalis muscle, muscle is so small, the sagittal crest is not needed. Um, or not as prominent. Or not as prominent. And then for like, the last one, it says the position of the jaw joint relative to the tooth row. This jaw joint is much higher than the tooth row itself, which allows, when it closes, um, all the teeth can like meet each other at the same time. Whereas in the cat, she was talking about the scissor-like motion. These back teeth meet first, and the front teeth meet after.